Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Fabio Biondi. I'm a Google developer expert in Angular from Italy. And today I want to show you how standalone component works, a new interesting feature introduced by Angular 14. Standalone components can be used by the framework without needing to be declared in the module. They can be less loaded, they can use other modules and so on. And in this video, we also explore a couple of new features provided by the router. First, we must install Angular version 14. Since it has not been officially released yet at the time I'm recording this video, we can use the next option to install the release candidate. I also use the inline style, skip test and inline template options to avoid to create too many files in this project. Now we open the project and as you can see the structure is almost what we are used to find in every Angular project. Start the project with npm start and verify that it works. Now we can use the ng-generate-component command to create a new component in the Features Home folder. I use the new standalone option that allows us to create and use Angular components without having to declare them in a module, as we used to do before. The flat option is simply used to prevent the creation of the home folder. And we do the same with the contacts page. If we open the home component, we can notice the new standalone property in the decorator. That means we can use this component without the need to declare it in the module. And the imports property in which we have to specify all modules this component needs to work. In this case, only common module, since we are almost sure to use the fundamentals, directives and pipes. Of course, you can also import other modules if you need some features, but I will show you later in this video. Furthermore, we can also check the standalone components have not been added to the app module, as usually happens with Angular generators. So we can now create the rules of the router in which we can simply specify the path and the component to load, and add a couple of buttons in the root component to manage the navigation. As we can see, our application works as expected, and everything has been included in the main module, which now has a size of 12 kilobytes. And now I want to show you a new Angular 14 feature. We can lazy load components directly using the load component property and dynamic imports. Now the bundle size is just 8 kilobytes and components are lazy loaded when the routes change. Finally, we also have a new property of the router, title, that allows us to improve accessibility by changing the title of our pages. Now I want to show you one more thing. Our home component may need other modules in order to work. For example, if we need to use an ng model directive. But when we try to use this directive, we receive an exception. So we can just import the forms module and it works again. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. As always, don't forget to subscribe my channel to receive updates about new videos and content. Bye bye.